The same procedure is very valid for this one as well. We come over here and we started with site analysis, but now we change it to radiation lab. In the meantime, maybe I can come over to site analysis and turn off the windrows and just jump into my geometries here. And if you are not happy or if you want to change, you can turn off the shadows as well. Okay, it's completely up to you. So when I come over to radiation map, there are a couple of things to discuss here. So one thing is the first thing is the location. The second thing is the material. So it's basically Climate Studio works with the materials that you assign to the layers. So in my layers, what I'm having is the, like the site is a curve, but it's okay to keep it. Plot is my plot and the buildings are the buildings. So if I come over, back over here again, so for the buildings, I can select any material that I want here, including glazing, which is very important for daylight studies, but we are not concerned with daylight studies now. So if I come over to other and then if we say, I don't know, exterior, let's see what type of exterior materials we have. Exterior cladding, exterior floor, exterior concrete, exterior wall. Let's say concrete exterior wall for my buildings. For my plot, we can say asphalt, maybe asphalt, and select it as well. The next thing, it's going to ask us to determine the surfaces that we want Run, that we want to run analysis on so add analysis surface and if I come over here I can select my surface and click add and then ID is we can say plot description if you want to have a description you can add the description sensor spacing is basically the uh, very similar to grid size with ladybug we can say like 5 to this or let's say 50 and when we say 50, you see all these sensors, these points are the sensor. So the more number we put here, the less points we will have. So let's say five meters and UV mapping, if it's 3D, 2D, we can stay, we can keep this as surface. You can turn on the advanced options, meaning override normals. It says useful for setting as a sensor direction that is not orthogonal to surface. A horizontal luminances over it so it's like non-orthogonal surfaces we are having orthogonal surfaces so we don't need that so say okay and now what we see here is the tags descriptions edit remove sensors area so it's telling us the square meters how many sensors we have and so on and so forth and right after we fix all, all these things right after we make all these adjustments what we see on the cs results so not we don't see anything in cs results yet if we click uncheck this plot we don't see the sensors if we check this plot box we see the sensors and when i click play we started to see it started to run its own uh, process and it's basically based on your uh, based on your computer, based on the number of sen sensors you put, based on the computer power again, it runs this analysis. And when you hover over these sensors, you start to see some information. This is kilowatt hour per square meters in a year. So it's basically telling us how much energy you are um, creating or having on this particular location so it's basically running the passes and if you click after this one if you're satisfied with the results you can stop it stop the cycles or the passes but it's i think almost done so let's give it a like a couple of more seconds and right after it finishes or if we, even if before it finishes we can select direct solar exposure we can select indirect solar exposure. We can say total solar exposure. We can have all surfaces or we can have the sensor numbers. You see, we can see 
all the surfaces or we can take a closer look at a particular sensor for instance this one you see it has a lot less energy here we can have warm hours which means we can only see the temperature is above 25 celsius or cold hours we can have the temperature where we can have the results with the less temperature we can have the results with less temperature than the three celsius and we can say all hours again if you click here you can see the like the y-axis show tick marks these are all related with these uh, graphs we can have show grid lines on the x-axis as well you can see that this basically is ranging between 0 to 1500 you can say 2500 and you see the color has changed uh, you can come over to this monitor here to change the colors we can say show values if we say show values and we zoom in we will see the values uh, we can see the show of normals it's gonna show vectors style meaning how you see its surface or sensor disks like the sensor disks or we can say we can see color back face we don't need that room tags we don't need that edit false color we can change the colors that we are seeing here we can say okay to this new chart and as you see we have created this result and when i click but sorry when i unclick this result it's basically showing me nothing on this particular area and when i come over to my folder here uh, when i come over to my exercise files where i am keeping this information but i don't have it so where it's located let's see oh it's basically saved this to climate studio red, red map blah blah location the reason this is that's important you can import this result you can take or load any result that you created or unload any result that you created so for instance if i switch back to here and then if i say okay now i want to analyze uh, these three buildings as my well, before i do that let me save this file as to uh, my desktop id crafts youtube playlists exercise files playlist 18 introduction to climate studio i think it will save the file that we run the analysis for that one too now so if i want to add these three surfaces the id three buildings we can say and let's have for this two UV mapping we can say box because they are like you see something has changed I don't know if you noticed we are working with a box so we can select the box geometries and three buildings as they are named so we can come over here and then we take this off and then if we rerun this analysis now it's going to be running the analysis only for these three buildings and if you pay attention when i select this it turns into that and takes off the analysis on this and when i select this it's basically running the analysis for these buildings only and this time as you see it's put my results over here so whenever if i come back to my exercise files you will see that we are having this new folder and we have this red map for CSR uh, file that can be imported from this folder so what this means now again the same but this time for the building what we can do we can export this bitmap as an image if you want to you can change this like the bottom you can change the legend location uh, you can make like all these kind of things let's say okay to this and maybe in this folder and you can you can select both actually sorry you cannot select both 
you can select only one and then we can see the results so and map four we can always take these results as well but one thing if you want to show of notes you turn off the show of notes maybe you can make this cs shadows and it looks way better so that is pretty much how we run the solar radiation analysis uh, with solar radiation analysis with uh, climate studio and you can take this as well so this being said we are concluding this video in the next video we'll make another analysis or set of analysis that we can create comparisons in between so stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you in the next one